Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Last time, we were having a look at some side quests and some stuff over in the Korok Forest. And on the path to uh, finding a Ice Wizard robe, I found another shrine. I don't know why I felt the need to explain that. I don't usually, so I guess that just came out of nowhere. But anyway, now we're gonna keep fi I guess I kind of needed to explain that we're halfway through finding the Ice Wizard robe thing, so... And what, how we got to this point, so, anyway. That's the electric wizard robe. So I'm gonna leave that one alone. I'm pretty sure there's a ice wizard robe around here somewhere. Also, hello, keys everywhere. So much keys. So little time. There's also some ore deposits up here that I can open up. Get some flint. Oh, stop, stop. Get some opal and some amber. There we go. Now let's see what happens if I go up here. Is this tree important? Probably not. Probably just a tree. It would be weird if there was Koroks at the top of some trees. That's a fire one. In the middle of a fiery area. So I guess I could actually just take a picture of that and then possibly even its weapon, if possible. Oh, that's not a fire wizard robe, that's a meteor wizard robe. Oh my goodness, those things are not what you expect. Especially because of how strong they are. I might actually want to just set fire to that area so I don't have to worry about it once I go down there. If I go down there. So... Let's just go in. Oh, this is not looking good for me. Oh, he teleported away. Slash disappeared. That's the thing. Um, let's switch to irregular arrows. And let's... Oh my goodness. Figure out what I'm doing. That's not a good weapon. For this, let's go Guardian Speed Plus, which is still not great. Ow. Let's open up this chest as well. A ruby. Where is he? There. Please target the enemy. Okay, good, 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 good. Nice. Nope, he's gone again. By the way, that shoots with bouncing fireballs in and more than one as well. Oh, he spawned in a, an enemy? I didn't know he could spawn in enemies. That was a fire keys. Ah. Oh my goodness, why? Quick, quick, quick. There we go. Oh my goodness. That was a thing. You can be an he can be annoying if you're not careful. Anyway, Meteor Rod. Probably my favorite kind of rod, to be honest. A magical rod that can cast three fireballs at once, crafted by an ancient magician. It will break upon running out of magical energy, so make it last. That's not what I normally do with Meteor Rods. What I normally do with Meteor Rods you just go out into the open somewhere, like, I don't know, here seems to work, and then just do that a whole bunch, even if it sets me on fire, because watching those things go all over the place is just pleasant. Let's run out of charge. Is it going to recharge? I don't know, it might not, because if I, I used... No, it's back. Goodbye, fireballs! So yeah, that's pretty good, but... Yeah, it could be, could be a better weapon, probably, but anyway. There's a few things over here. I feel like there's a Korok down here. Yep, there is, of course. Let's mark that off. Number 47. Yeah, sorry. Um, and let's see. I'm sure that there's an Ice Wizard up here as well. 
And also there should be a fireworks rib there. It's not technically a fireworks rib, it's a meteor rib, 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 rib. So, let's have a look around a bit. There's the... The electric... Is that electric? It looks different. It's the thunder. Oh my goodness. I didn't realize there was a thunder. I just thought it was electric because I assumed wrong. There's so many things in this game that I didn't even know. Just because I was too quick to just get through it, I guess. Although I wasn't really there. So anyway, let's eat some mushrooms. And then let's figure out what I'm going to do to fight this thing. I'm guessing this is going to end badly if I use this, the wrong weapon. Please hit him, thank you. Just stab him, please. Oh, back up, back up, back up. The electric chews are doing their thing. Good. Ow. I dropped my weapon because I was zapped by lightning. More electricity, that's what, how that works. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness. It's a thunderstorm now. I didn't realize that could happen. But I guess I didn't know about this particular enemy. So that makes sense. That it can just summon a lightning storm. And probably even target me with its lightning. Does that mean that this lightning rod can actually... The thunderstorm rod can actually summon thunderstorms? If so, that's really cool, and I don't know how I wouldn't know about it. I could chuck out a royal claymore for space. That seems silly, but anyway. Um, there's so many good weapons. So many good weapons. I could, because it's a double up, and I can just get more, so... Goodbye, my friend. Thunderstorm Rod, a magical rod that can hurl three f balls of electricity at once. Its gem contains electricity from the Hyrule Heels, and the rod will break when the electricity runs out. So it's basically the same as a, a, a electric rod, but it shoots three things. Okay, cool. Anyway, this is definitely not what I was trying to find. Does that mean that the... the... There's no Ice Whiz Robe up here at all, it's just a regular, or like, um, enhanced Ice Whiz Robe. Because that will be very disappointing if it is. And very crazy that I didn't know about it, any of this. Let's, uh, delete some things, I suppose. I can probably select all and delete. Let's do that. Let's find out. It's a Blizz Robe. How did I not know that these are these three are different? How did I not know? Just how? Can you come down here, please? Yeah, I did not realize that these were different. I thought they were just regular wither robes. White choo choo jelly, a jiggly substance that came from a ice choo choo. It's cool to the touch, and uh, squ uh, squeezing it seems to relieve stress. If stuck, it will explode, uh, in cold mist. Oh, hello. Also, I want to take a picture of some of these ice or elemental things, because I I haven't been doing that. So let's get an ice choo-choo, which doesn't look anything like it. Good enough. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm- I died. It's a blizzard. It's a blizzard. It's a blizzard! Also, why did it say that I had so many hearts just now? Probably because I had Mifa's Grace saving me. Oh, get out, get out. Oh my goodness. It also counts as being cold. So this is not a good place to be right now. I think I might just want to abandon this quest and come back to it later. I might just mark this location as like skull so I can Please, 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 run. So when I came over here looking for whiz robes, I didn't get what I was looking for at all. Please run. I might even teleport away if I really need to. It's still blizzarding. It's still blizzarding. The the the. Is it just gonna blizzard forever? I don't know. Let's just delete that. And realize that I'm probably not going to be able to get a find a ice wizard robe anytime soon because I actually don't know where any would be at the moment. Sorry. 
Let's just teleport away. So I will have to keep that side quest in mind for later. But for now, let's go find another Korok who has a quest for us. Complete the trials! Huh? You? Could it be? You're Mr. Hero! Mr. Hero is here! The mushroom on my head suddenly sprouted today, so I knew something was up. It was a prediction that you'd come, I think. Us Koroks all got together and prepared some trials just for you, Mr. Hero. If you pass the very tough trials we've prepared, pulling out the Master Sword will be a piece of cake. Probably. Among the trials is an extra tough one, designed by me, the Elder of Korok Forest. So will you test your metal in the Korok Trials? I'll do it. You know, if you keep going, doing everything everyone asks without question, you're gonna get uh, conned eventually. Anyway, where was I? Oh yeah, the Korok Trials. Long story short, you need to visit all th the shrines in the Korok Forest so that you can be considered a real grown-up. Trial 1 is Southwest Forest, Trial of the Second Sight. Trial 2. In the Northwest Forest, The Lost Pilgrimage. Trial 3. In the Eastern Forest, The Test of Wood. If you can overcome the, the Korok tr tr Trials, you can overcome anything. We've also prepared some wonderful prizes for you. Now show us what you're made of. Alright, do your best. So yeah, there are some Korok tr trials that lead to shrines here, as they said. So, I'm probably going to want to do that. I'm surprised this isn't, doesn't count as a shrine quest, but I guess it's got multiple shrines that it's talk about. So, before... I know I'll do it now. So, let's head up this path, which I think is sh trial one. Just going to keep going. And eventually, we should find a very similar path to what we originally went through in the Lost Woods, so... Oh, hot-footed frog. Okay, now that we're here, maybe... I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be a Korok that's going to teach us or tell us what we need to do. Maybe? Oh, there you are. Just dancing on this rock. This is the way to the trial. A Hylian seeks to attempt the Korok trial. Is that even allowed? Who cares? Are you here to attempt my Korok trial? Of course. Oh wow, do you really want to try it? I guess it's worth ask asking after all. Let me tell you about the trial. All you need to do is keep going and not get lost in the mist. Easy, right? What's wrong? You don't look very excited. But don't worry, I've got a cryptic little hint for you. The hungry trees will show you the way. Spy their iron to win the day. Uh, didn't I make it sound cool? I think that's... Think about that as you take on the trial. I think doing the voice unintentionally was really funny for that. Anyway, this is the trial of the second sh second um, sight. So, what we need to do is get our magnesis, and we can see that these, um, like, stones are here. And we just need to follow these, like we did with the torches at the, be the beginning. And the second site is an interesting way of putting it, because we actually need to follow them, so. It's, it's pretty cool. I like it a lot. It's very useful to be able to find things by um, using stasis or um, magnesis, because we could also probably do this with stasis, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So, works multiple ways, and yeah. Now, there's another rock over this way. So let's keep going this way, just run. It also makes it slightly easier to see the world around you as you go. 
But anyway, looks like we found something here. A rusty shield. And also some enemies. Now get up, get up, get up, get up. Just blow them all up and then take out their heads. Since they all have one HP heads. Where's the last one? Where's the last one? Also, are they going to just stay alive? Because that's also possible. There we go, please. Thank you. That's a lot of enemies. Not going to lie. But anyway, now. Are they, do they have weapons that are different? Or same? Probably same weapons. Anyway, if we go over to this tree over here, though. Oh my goodness, there's wolves. Please. Let me take a picture of you. Marado wolves. They drop raw prime meat, and yeah. Oh, my fast water spear broke. That's fine. Anyway, let's read this. Feed me the age shield. Guarded by monsters eternal, my brother will repay you in kind. Okay, so. We could either just pick it up and prop it in, or we can use Magnesis to grab the shield and just pop it in there. The chest appears. You can also see where we need to go next. So. Let's go ahead and grab that. And if I had to guess, this is going to involve me taking this to the next island as well. Let's grab this. Amber. I probably don't actually need this, but I'm going to take it anyway. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I can actually just push the... I can, I can push the, the raft like this. That's incredible. Definitely not intended, but incredible. I'm amazed that that's actually a thing. Oh my goodness. Come with me. So we don't actually need... We don't even need leak cork leaves for that. Place... Please place my chest in my mouth. The shield's eater's brother stole it from me. And with that... We have done the... Sh the Trial of the Second Sight. This shrine is definitely less useful for getting the... or teleporting to for getting around quickly, but... It's still here, so... Let's go ahead and open it. And let's do it. Because, of course, it's just a blessing. Let's grab this. A giant ancient core. Goodbye. And let's finish up. Thank you for your blessing, sir. The actual trial was actually doing the thing for the Koroks and just getting here. And now we actually need to go over back to the middle again. Okay, so, now that all that's done, I guess we can head to the next trial, which, because I know which way to go, is over this way, because I'm pretty sure the sign actually said it last time we saw, the test of wood, or the trial of wood, or whatever it was. So, let's go up this way, all the way through here. 
And we'll have a fairly similar thing to what we did last time, just a little bit more straightforward and not as... Where'd that frog go? Anyway. Well, here we are. But that is also it for this episode of Legends of Breath of the Wild, so thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.